Okay, we're at the December 15th RBNO, which is at Robotics this week. And I've got my grapefruit, but I won't show you the grapefruit robot. No grapefruit, okay. And tell us who you are. And, uh, I'm Ron Grant. I'm one of the DPRG members. Cool. Today I have a Mega Donkey controller, which is a Mega 2561 with a touchscreen. And this is actually a spare one here. But I'm going to have this robot drive a figure eight, and I'm following a Bezier curve pattern that I have pre programmed into the robot. So let's give this a shot and see if it's going to drive the curve. Uh oh, and it's rebooting. <laughs> Cool. Let's, let's try this again. I'm going to use up my time. You should buy some. Uh -oh. Guess what? Cut. <laughs> Cut. Battery needs to be charged. Well, we'll come back to you. How about who else have we got here? Ed. Tell us what you've got. All right, I got a uh, what I call Mini Tankbot. Okay. He's got, um, Mini Tankbot has LCD or I'm sorry, cadmium sulfide cells. All around six cells and then the display is like a little bar graph of the intensity right now so right now it doesn't use the data but you can see when I shine on one of these the bar graph changes so here's a number one number two number three right there number four over right here number five and number six very cool and these two are test patterns, but uh, I can also turn both the LEDs on to make yellow. So I, I'm probably going to change what it displays. But I'd like to have it use the sensors. And if you can see, some of the ambient light has it already reading a pattern. And as you turn, that pattern changes. So we've thought about figuring out how to do maybe some navigation, or you could kind of do some simple, like moth like behavior by having it follow a light, uh, you know, circle a light or flashlight or something. Very cool. Thank you. Hey, I think I can demo this now. Let's give, this, oh, give okay. it a shot. We're going to give Ron another okay. shot here. Okay, here we go. So what's it going to do again? It's going to do a Bezier curve. Uh, if it doesn't run under the table, so it's, it's following a pre-programmed uh, cubic or third order curve. So that's programmed into the robot, and uh, it's approximately four feet from loop to loop there. So it can drive arbitrary patterns that I program into the robot. And so now it's repeating uh, with a slight offset. So it can be doing a nice uh, job of cleaning the floor if it was so equipped with floor cleaning attachments. That's my demo. <laughs> Very cool. So who else has something? Guys? This is uh, my new Aruba basic stamp combo that I won the contest. Hopefully it will follow the wall, but I don't think it will. Okay. What's your name? Nathan. Nathan. That's all right. Okay. You just have to play more for it. <laughs> and it's uh, and it's all the hand. Does it like those crazy blinds? <laughs> Still under construction. Yeah. Worked at home. Hopefully, going to be able to build a cable for it that will sit on the wall. What we here? Is this uh, basic stamp? Basic stamp 2SX. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. We'll check back uh, next week and see how it's doing. See, people that do that are like, okay. Well, let's see who else we've got. I see some other robots down here. I didn't get to make it, make it go more. Oh! What have you got going on? your name and uh, what you're building. Yeah. Okay. going to his first. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> Not quite ready, huh? Well, let's see what else we've got. But you guys, I see Charlie there. What are you working on? I'm working on uh, some sniping on eBay. Oh, okay. So, very cool. Now somebody snapped somebody else. But how about you? Tell us who you are and what you're doing. Oh, Gus. Um, but anyways, just cheating here. <laughs> Wanted to see how easy it would be to hook up a servo to the Arduino. Okay. And it, it was trivial. Just using the uh, the 
built-in demo. This is a, I took out a small section out of sweep, so instead of just sweeping back and forth nicely, it kind of sweeps one direction and then it hits back home real quickly. Very cool. Yeah, it's cheap little servos that I got off of eBay months and months ago. And these are going to go in a robot eventually? Um, we'll see. One step at a time. Okay. We're playing right now. Very cool. So what else have we got? I see somebody over here with a robot. Tell us who you are and uh, what yours does. My name is Eric. I am a Lego NXT robot. Right now it's controlled with a PS2 joystick. That's cool. Basically it's got an engine on the front here. It runs. And then so we've got a running program on it. I think, but it's kind of the center of the wheels. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I remember having like 0.15 milliwatt. Now, now I think the middle is very degrees. And then go back to right. Yeah, it was like, I mean, put it so it's brighter. It's parent brighter. Well, that's the difference of like, it's a little bit of 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 a little bit Loose cables. So the joystick connects to a circuit port. It's empty here on the back. Okay. And it's controlled by this microprocessor, which is the, called the NXT. And is this going to be an autonomous robot eventually? Yes, we'll be adding sensors to the side and to the front. And we can also use it with a GPS unit for navigation outside. Very cool. Okay, thank you very much. So let's see, I think I see one more robot down here. I'm going to make one more pass. Charlie's still working on his eBay. Ah, uh, there's somebody. I'm testing it out now. Testing it out, okay. Tell us what you're testing. If it moves. So I see a Roomba with a wooden platform and. What kind of controller did we get on here? It's uh, the basic stamp. Basic stamp, okay. And, and it looks like it's using an ultrasonic sensor. Correct. And what's it trying to do? Uh, it'll try to move to where the object is. Angle at it. Let's see if I can get over here where we can actually see your sensor moving around. So we're in the wrong cone, the wrong spot right now. I think there we go. You can see the little sensor there under the wooden platform. And it's trying to find the paper cup. I've got to be careful because, see, 2250, that's, that's right below the price I went in. It is. It looks like it found it. So, so it reoriented the room, but a point toward the cup, it looks like. That's the go. So, very cool. Well, we'll check back for uh, more progress next week. Okay. Thanks a lot. And I think that's uh, everybody at the RBNO for the moment, so we'll check in again next week.